Ever wonder if water is the ultimate hydration solution? Or if sports drinks, coffee, or juice are just as good? You're not alone. There's a lot of debate about which drink is the best to keep us hydrated. In this video, we'll dive into the science behind hydration, compare water with other popular drinks, and by the end, you'll know exactly which one works best for your lifestyle. Stick around because you might be surprised by what's actually hydrating. First off, let's talk about what hydration really means. Hydration isn't just about drinking water. It's about maintaining the right balance of water and electrolytes in our body. Electrolytes, like sodium and potassium, help your body retain water and keep things running smoothly, from your muscles to your brain. When you sweat, you're not just losing water, you're also losing those important electrolytes. That's why staying hydrated is so important, especially during physical activities or on hot days. For example, think of an athlete working out hard on a hot summer day. If they only drink water, they might still feel weak because their electrolyte levels drop. This sets the stage for understanding when other drinks might help. Now let's talk about sports drinks. When should you stick to water? And when are sports drinks a better option? For most of us, water is all we need for everyday activities, like walking, going to work, or doing light exercise. It keeps us hydrated without any extra calories or sugar. But if you're sweating buckets after an intense workout or running a marathon, sports drinks can be helpful. They replenish the electrolytes you've lost and keep your muscles functioning properly. Ever wonder why athletes sip both water and sports drinks during races? It's all about balance, hydrating with water, and replacing lost electrolytes with the sports drink. Next up, let's tackle coffee, tea, and other caffeinated drinks. A lot of people believe that caffeine dehydrates you, but that's actually a bit of a myth. In moderation, caffeine doesn't affect hydration much. In fact, studies show that drinking coffee or tea still counts toward your daily fluid intake. But there's a catch. If you drink too much, the caffeine can make you jittery and act as a mild diuretic, meaning you might visit the restroom more often. Imagine someone who swaps their morning coffee for water. After a few days, they might feel more refreshed and less jittery throughout the day. So, while coffee won't dry you out, water might still be the better option, especially in the morning or after exercise. Now, what about juice, soda, or other sugary drinks? They do provide hydration, but there's a bit of a downside. A can of soda can contain up to 39 grams of sugar. While it might quench your thirst, it also comes with a sugar rush and an energy crash soon after. If you enjoy juice, try diluting it with water. You'll get the flavor without all the sugar. And when it comes to soda, opt for sparkling water with a slice of lemon. It's just as refreshing. All right, let's bring it all together. For most situations, water is your best bet for staying hydrated. It's calorie free, accessible and perfect for daily activities. But if you're doing high intensity workouts, sports drinks can come in handy. Coffee and tea? They're fine in moderation, but not ideal after exercise. And sugary drinks? Well, enjoy them occasionally, but they're not the best for rehydration. Ultimately, the best drink depends on your needs. Pay attention to your body and hydrate based on your activity level and environment. Now that you know what's really hydrating, I'd love to hear from you. What's your go-to hydration drink? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. It really helps more people discover content like this. And if you're into health and lifestyle tips, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.